Hi everybody, this is Sithi Readings and hi Taurus. Let's see what messages are going to show up for you guys. Let's see what do we have for Taurus. Okay, we have the world card here. In case this reading resonates with you, Taurus, there will be a link in the description box to the extended. Okay, so we're seeing here, Taurus, that there is something coming to an end in your life. Okay, also I'm going to close off this reading with your oracle message. So stick around until the end for that. There's something in your life that is coming to an end. And I feel like now you are choosing to look forward. Now you're like, okay, what's next for me? Um, you are, I'm hearing, liberating yourself from something. Okay, Taurus. Um, some of you may have also changed your routine or um, something here about your health. Okay. And your mental health even. I'm getting an energy that you guys, like some of you, are really into tarot, astrology, or into a cult, okay? I'm getting an energy of you um, learning something. And I'm also getting here that, Taurus, you're somebody who had to learn lessons in their life the hard way and the tough way okay like really tough lessons you have um learned in your life or tough situations that you have gone through and i'm getting here with the world card that you're choosing to focus on what is coming in for you you're choosing to to look forward and to look uh beyond that now okay so let's see Ooh, damn um Taurus, you're walking away and there is something, okay, whatever you're walking away from, it seems tiring, it seems draining, it seems messy, okay, emotionally, mentally, physically exhausting. Some of you have waited for a person for a long time and that offer did not show up. So it's like you're giving up on an offer here because you feel like, it's like you're giving up hope that it is going to show up for you. Okay, you're giving up hope. And if there is a relationship recently, Taurus, that came to an end in your life, Spirit is saying that that relationship was meant to end. Okay, it was meant to to come to an end. And now it's time for you to focus on the new. I'm hearing the best is yet to come. The best is yet to come. So we will see what that is. I think here, Taurus, you are surrendering to destiny, okay? You feel like if it is meant to be, then it will be. And I'm not really going to go out of my way to make something happen, okay? And I really feel like there's somebody, I'm hearing bare minimum. There is somebody you were dealing with who was giving you the bare minimum, okay? And expecting you to take it, expecting you to 
accept it okay i really feel like right now you are closing cycles but i see you busy or i see a little bit of a burden on your shoulders i don't know if it's financial or if there's something with money work okay i feel like with the strength car you're holding on to your inner strength your courage and you are indeed very strong okay because the way it's showing me is showing me that there is something you have gone through there's something you went through it was really heartbreaking but you sustained that okay and you came out of it okay so right now i do think that you are some of you could be avoiding a leo or a scorpio but i feel like this energy is talking about gaining strength from a tough situation or something burdening okay i know it's easier said than done but you are holding on strong to your values to your core beliefs finding it, it's like okay one more thing i'm getting here taurus is that you're not gonna let you're not gonna let somebody make you insecure okay um or play play with your feelings okay three of cups a lot of you are going to connect with a new friend or like some of you maybe need to go out more enjoy have a good time with friends or alone you know that is this is telling you to shift your energy okay yeah there's some sort of like three threes here this is a master number there's some sort of collaborative work or celebration here for you some of you are going to be celebrating a victory at work or you're going to be collaborating or associating with helpful people so i feel like a big message in this reading for you taurus is also not to isolate yourself okay some of you have a work opportunity coming up like i'm getting that there is somebody taurus who's talking about your work like what you do for a living somebody's discussing that <laughs> there's a card that fell okay let's see hangman in the reverse i feel like for a lot of you um you're getting unstuck okay with that hangman in the reverse because with the world card i told you you're choosing to look forward and that that hangman in the reverse is like okay i am ready to move forward i am ready to open myself up to whatever it is that's coming my way yeah with the fool and the ace of cups you have new beginnings but you also have somebody from the past i feel like in these days there's somebody like there could be a friend or a lover taurus who's gonna come back in your life okay um and with the fool and the ace of cups energy spirit is saying take that leap of faith forward towards something you never know how it is going to turn out for you so the message for you this is your advice by the way and the hangman reverses your challenge you're having a little bit of a hard time getting unstuck um, because you're feeling overburdened or exhausted because of something and there is a sense of enlightenment in that energy though the fool and the ace of cups is suggesting that you move forward towards something new the person you're dealing with is the moon card and you know today is libra full moon so the energy stays three days before and after somebody is thinking about you but i feel like this is a time where you should focus on closing cycles letting go of what confuses you there is a person from the past who was in and out of your life okay they're coming in with a very confident energy so i'm getting here that this person is determined to be with you okay and i'm also getting that all right let's see
Six of Wands. Um, Taurus, there's victory and success coming your way, okay? You're going to get recognized for your work. And I feel like the main gist of this reading is to focus your energy on what serves you. You have new opportunities coming in. So don't get... Because, you know, Seven of Cups can be an energy of overwhelm at times as well. So you may be feeling overwhelmed by what choice to make. But the Justice card here is saying that you don't need to overwhelm yourself, okay? Um, hang in tight. Justice card is also about things going in your favor, okay? So this Libra full moon, there's something going in your favor and new opportunities are coming in. But if there's one thing you want to take from this reading, take the message of the Fool card and the Ace of Cups. This is talking about a new beginning, a new start. And the Fool card is kind of taking away that element of, oh, I am scared, you know? All right, so let's see. Do check out the extended Taurus if you would like to know your person's feelings for you and bonus messages for you. Okay, um, let's see. What do we have for Taurus, please? What do we have for Taurus, please? What do you need to release? So today, ask yourself, what is something that no longer serves you? And that is something you need to release from your energy. Bring love into the situation. I feel like a big message in your reading here is also to open up to love. Open your heart space. Look at the bigger picture. Spirit is saying, broaden your perspective in regards to something. And release what no longer serves you. Okay? Thinking big. What is the guided message for Taurus, please? What is the guided message? What is the guided message? What is the guided message? Your guided message is healing the heart, 23. Taurus, for a lot of you, number 23 and number five could, uh, number five could be significant. Um, and the royal you. So Spirit is saying, know your worth. Know your worth, okay? Um, let's read for you what these uh, oracle cards mean. Okay, number 16 and number 23. Number 1, 6, 2, and 3 separately. These could be your birthday, your life pot number, or 23rd could be your birthday. 16th could be your birthday. Healing, making amends, the willingness to release past pain, being responsible and accountable, taking time to get healthy, renewal and rebirth after suffering. That is something I picked up earlier on in your reading too. We often believe we can be wounded only by others, but we do more damage to ourselves in the self-sabotaging way we think and we behave. It is important to take steps to heal yourself and become willing to release the pain of the past, which can be tempting to revisit. It is time to take responsibility for your part in this healing journey. Look for ways you can help yourself and others. Are you willing to make amends if needed or conversely accept someone where they are without trying to influence their growth process? Healing the heart in all aspects is your priority now. Nothing else matters. Only beauty and goodness will come as the result. So, oh, I was supposed to read for you the royal you as well. Let's see. Let's see what that is. Responsibility, self-confidence, ownership of your feelings, a quiet sense of empowerment, being aware not allowing outside influences out of alignment with your truth. Challenges in your life at this time, no matter how large or small, must be met with a measured response. 
If life sends you a challenge, can you speak up and set your boundaries with grace and surety? Calm, intelligent leadership is called for now. Stay out of unnecessary drama and strategically wield your personal power. Now is the time to lead from the heart, from your authenticity and integrity. Hold your head high and know your worth. That is the mark of a true sovereign. Nice. So that's about it, Taurus. Those were the messages that showed up for you. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. And check out the extended link in the description box below if you're interested. Take, take